Okay, I'm going to take you through the basics on a 2004 W1200F. I'm going to check the engine oil. Here we go. I think this is, it's an air-cooled motor. Oh yeah, there's plenty of black Earl on there. Air-cooled Deutz, I think, six-cylinder. I want to make sure, and there's uh, grease points all over this thing for the belt drive, um, back in there for the grinding wheel. I mean, you got to go through this and grease it really well every day, twice a day at least. All these rams going up and down. Um, you got these safety straps here on each side of the chute. They pin up there so that thing doesn't collapse on you. There's grease points up here for um, your belt. Diesel tank this side, water tank on the other side. You've got an emergency stop here. You pull this pin out here and you pull that lever towards you and it makes this chute free swing. Here's where you check your water level. There's a little orange bobber in here that you know, looks like it disappeared. Anyway, it's full of water. This is where you turn on your uh, water going to the back for your grinding um, uh, drum. And then this goes to your belt. Spray some water down there, keep the dust down. On this machine, you gotta have both these on the zero to get it to work. Um, got water, here's your filter, gotta check that now and again. Um, you've got grease points here. Um, you've got every one of the track assemblies has one there. If you pull this, you'll have a grease point back there for this ram for the up and down. And you can check your belt drive for the um, grinding wheel. Your daily check needs to include releasing the tension on the uh, belt drive system and getting down here. And this door will be up farther, but you spin the grinding wheel to check the teeth and make sure that they, they spin freely. If you see little white streaks coming up the back of your tips here on your grinding teeth, it means you don't have enough water going down there to lubricate them. And what I do is I put in a tank full of water, uh, maybe half a container of Dawn dish soap, and the dish soap actually helps lubricate these teeth some, uh, keep them spinning freely. Because if they'll seize up in there, it'll prematurely wear these teeth out. Always got to remember the safety switch here. If you have this door up too far, the switch is activated and then none of your controls up there work for like your depth, your auto grind features and stuff like that. So it's something to keep track of. When you have this door all the way up, there's a safety lock here and you'll be able to gain access to your spray nozzles for the water. Um, always a good idea on these older Wurchin units to have this control console covered. There's a steel cover, which is gone, so I'm using a bag. Water will sit up on there, and then you'll be out on a job and you won't have forward or reverse. And it's because water's gotten in there, so it's something to keep in mind. Another little thing you can do with this machine, this controls the swing on this track. So I'll move this back and forth with one hand, pull that pin up, and then what I'll do is I'll set this thing down on some gravel or a piece of roadway that I want to grind up, pick this track all the way up, and then use this lever, and it'll swing this track in to right here. I'll repin it, and then I can grind around a corner um, and get real close to obstacles. Okay, now for operation. So, okay, to rock and roll there. Pretty easy peasy. It's a very reliable machine. So one more click over and then all your lights will come on, your driving lights. This thing activates your strobe. This one right here is for your uh, your back gate. That locks it up, that'll allow it to free float down. This will lift your gate up. See right there. Now watch this. Okay. I'm lifting my gate up, lifting it up, and it's about to hit that stop. Okay, the safety switch is activated, so now I got nothing. There we go. Everything's back on again, we're all good. 
So obviously you've got a safety stop here. This controls your engine RPMs. When you're in like an auto grind mode, like right here, when you switch that on, and then you've got this switch on, and there's a switch over here that's gonna go in auto. You can set this so that when the grinder drum, if the RPMs of that slow down too much, it'll back your speed out of your grind until it regains its grinder drum speed and allow you to travel forward. This is a stop button. You can also stop the machine by turning the key switch off. Um, that is for the auto steer when you're grinding and you're turning as you're grinding and steering this outside track. Um, now it's a manual steer. That's how you steer it manually. This lifts up your side gates um, for your tailings. So like I'll lift this up sometime if I'm getting down into a grind, if I'm backing up to go wider on a grind and I need to um, set myself down, I'll lift my gates up. So this will adjust the, the front end for you, which is right there. You'll see there's a rod right in the center. And I'm gonna lift the machine up and see how that rod's picking up. That's the deal right there. This little function right here is for your slope control. So obviously I'm set on level ground. If I was grinding a roadway that slopes to the right, I'll have it here instead of to there if I'm sloping to the left. This is for the shoe that picks up your tailings and then shoots it out the front into the trucks. You know, like if I'm traveling or whatever, I'll pick it up so it's not just uh, dragged on the roadway. And then this is to lift up the back end of the machine, you know, if I want to manually go like, you know, into a grind or out of a grind or what have you. So, so it, yeah, that's, that's how that works. And you've got manual gauges on each side that you can look at. I don't ever use those. I'm looking at this here. What I'll do is I'll set my machine down with my grinder activated. Okay, here we go. So the grinder wheels engage. I'll use this to set my machine down until it's just above the road surface and then I'll zero it out. So I'll calibrate right here on both sides and say, okay, we're at zero. And then I'll do the same to the other side. Now, when I hit auto here and here with the engine RPMs all the way up, the machine will set itself down automatically into the grind until it finds 3.8, 3.6 inches, and then you can start traveling forward. And what I'll do is I'll kick the water on like that, that light will stay illuminated, and then I'll start grinding. I only grind in first and second gear, never wrap it. And then here's the auto function um, that allows that machine to uh, back out of the grind if it's starting to slow the drum down too much. If you're like doing heavy asphalt or concrete or whatever. Um, this will lock up your basically all your tracks so you've got better traction. And that's for your truckers. Here, look, see, lifting that up. And then you've got side to side swing. There's a way to get in here and change this to centimeters. Um, haven't had to do that yet. I'm not going to mess around with it right now. But check out your user manual. You'll be able to work that out. Don't know what that is. Haven't had to screw with it. Um, this thing's got uh, like 17,000 hours or something, and it's going strong. Really great machine. Um, grease daily, and check all your stuff so you don't have issues. Yeah. I forgot to mention that when you're grinding, you got to have your belt on all the way. There you go. It'll start spitting stuff out. The other thing that you have to remember is when you're done grinding, if you're using this auto feature, it sets the machine down and keeps it a consistent depth. You have to remember when you're done grinding to turn it off. Right now it's off. The A is not illuminated. When the A is illuminated, it's in auto mode. If you go to pick your machine up to walk out of a grind, and it's in auto, as soon as you get out of your grind, it's gonna set itself back down. You're gonna ruin more pavement and have to do a regrind fix your mistake and that's all i can think of um, again thanks for watching hope this helps you to get started grinding with a Wirtchin w1200f and i have a great day